KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, October 26, 2019. I'm Scott Martin. We have a marginal risk for severe storms today as a strong cold front will be moving through the area. The weekend finishes out nicely on Sunday, but could we see rain for Halloween? More on that in just a moment. At 6.15 this morning, we still have rain mainly falling over the western and southwestern locations in central Alabama, with very light rain falling over the northern parts. Temperatures at this time were in the lower to mid-70s across the area as a warm front has moved through the area. Birmingham was at 72 degrees, Selma was the warm spot at 75 degrees, while a few locations were tied at 70 degrees as the cool spots. A wind advisory goes in a, into effect later this morning from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. this evening for nearly all of central Alabama, with the exception of a few counties in the southeastern corner. Montgomery, Macon, Bullock, Lee, Russell, Pike, and Barber counties were not included in the advisory. We could see winds averaging 10 to 20 miles per hour throughout the advisory area with gusts up to 40 miles per hour possible. Same story for Culbert, Coleman, DeKalb, Franklin, Jackson, Lauderdale, Lawrence, Limestone, Madison, Marshall, and Morgan counties in North Alabama. A flash flood watch continues until 10 a.m. this morning for Fayette, Green, Hale, Lamar, Marengo, Marion, Pickens, Sumter, Tuscaloosa, Walker, and Winston counties in central Alabama, and for Culbert, Franklin, Lauderdale, and Lawrence counties in North Alabama. The Storm Prediction Center has much of central Alabama in a marginal risk for severe storms throughout the day today, with the exception of the easternmost counties along the Alabama-Georgia state line. So for today, a strong cold front will begin to work its way through central Alabama. Winds will start to pick up from west to east later this morning as the cold front approaches and moves into the western parts of the area by the 10 to 11 a.m. time frame. The front will move through and will be in the central parts of the area by the 4 to 6 p.m. time frame, and it will be exiting the state right at or just after 10 p.m. tonight. Along and just ahead of the front is where we could see some stronger to marginally severe storms with isolated damaging wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour and the potential for a brief tornado or two. Timing on the potential for strong to severe storms will be from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. for the western third of the area, 1 to 6 p.m. for the central third, and 4 to 10 p.m. for the eastern third. The good news is that instability will be very limited and mid-level lapse rates will be very low. The bad news is that we'll have plenty of shear that could get these storms along the front to start spinning that could lead to gusty winds and a brief tornado. Rainfall amounts today across the area look to be well less than what we saw on Friday. Forecast amounts from the WPC show mostly one half to three quarters of an inch for much of the area. Amounts will be less in the southeastern corner of the area, totaling out around or just over a quarter inch. Rain will be out of the area before midnight and it should be dry during the overnight hours. Today's highs will be in the lower 70s to right at 80 degrees across the area from northwest to southeast. Sunday will start off mainly cloudy across the area, but some of those clouds will dissipate, leaving us with partly cloudy skies by the end of the afternoon hours. We'll be dry with highs in the upper 60s to the mid-70s. Nice weather on Monday as we'll have partly to mostly clear skies. Highs will top out in the mid to upper 70s for most across the area. The cold front that works through the area today will actually start to retrograde back in our general direction on Tuesday, and could bring a chance of showers mainly to the southeastern parts of central Alabama. As of now, we'll go with the possibility of a few showers south of the I-59 corridor, while it will be dry north of that. Highs will be in the mid to upper 70s. Another cold front will be approaching the area from the west that would vet Gulf moisture out ahead of it on Wednesday. This will bring another good shot of beneficial rain to the area as we could see totals in the one to two inch range across the area. We could have some thunder, but instability looks too weak at this point for severe storms. Highs will be in the upper 60s to the upper 70s. The cold front will finally work through the area on Halloween. The bad news is that rain continues to look likely during a good part of the daytime hours. The good news is that the rain should begin tapering off from west to east during the late afternoon through the evening hours. There may be some lingering raindrops for trick-or-treat time, but they should be light in nature by this time. 
Highs will be in the lower 60s to the lower 70s. Temperatures at 7 p.m. will be in the mid 50s to the lower 60s across the area. Rainfall amounts look to be in the one half to one inch range across the area throughout the day. Great weather returns for Friday and the first day of November. We'll have plenty of sunshine with highs topping out in the upper 50s to the mid 60s. Now that is more like fall weather in central Alabama. And for the tropics, we only have one system on the board and that is Tropical Storm Pablo, which is located well out in the eastern Atlantic. It will cross over the Azores today as it starts to take a turn to the north. It should become post-tropical by Sunday evening. The rest of the Atlantic Basin is quiet for now. That is all for your Weather Extreme video for today. We'll have updates on the potential severe weather on the blog throughout the day. The next video will be out on Sunday morning, produced by Bill Murray. I'm Scott Martin, signing off for today. Have a great day, and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.